Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. In this video, we are going to continue on our series for container and microservices. And in this video, we are going to see, uh, after we saw in the previous video, how to install Linux or how to create a Linux machine on Azure and how to establish a remote connection. In this video, we are going to see, um, get some experience about Linux command, like uh, sudo, uh, how, you know, which is required to run that with every command to with, with the right permission, or how we can run sudo patch, so we don't need to, to write sudo before each command. We'll try to clean the screen, we will look at like process tree and so we will get some familiar some of the command in the command line uh, also we will see how to install docker how to uninstall docker and how to uh, list all the images how to run the image to have the container then how to pull uh, some image from docker hub uh, or the registry, the cloud registry, um, and how to run this image as a container on the machine. So we will see different uh, command for, for Docker on Linux. So let's see that. So I will start by running git bash. Let's expand the screen so we can see all the output. And I will just go here to connect. So now I'm connected. So as we can see, uh, now I am connected to the remote machine. Uh, if I can try sudo, then this will display all the command for sudo. To clear the screen, I just need to clear, click clear, and this will clear the screen. So if I'm trying, so let's run Docker to see that, so sudo. Docker. As we can see, it is not found, so I need to install Docker on this machine. Since I'm using Ubuntu, then I will use apt-get. If I'm using other uh, Linux or like uh, Red Hot, for example, I will using yum. So let's install that. I copy the command. So here sudo apt-get because I'm running Ubuntu, then update, which install docker io. So as we can see, this is downloading um, the library and installing that. Which installing docker, of course. It's completed and now I am on the command so let's clear that and if we run docker without sudo what will happen this of course it gave me all the command of docker because this is not running docker this is just like getting all the the, the switches so let's try to um, for example get something with uh, as we can see here some of the very important is images which list all the images uh, here on this machine so if i say docker images so as we can see here the problem is the permission because I don't have a permission because I didn't put sudo at the beginning. So if I clear that and then click sudo docker images, this was listing all the images which I don't have any images as we can see on 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 the machine. So um, also here let's talk about the, the, the Linux command sudo. 
so I need to run sudo with every command to get the permission or I can run sudo bash which will put me on a bash then I don't need to, to run that again so if I say docker images now I got that without running sudo but now I am on the root and anything I could change you know accidentally so it's better not to do that to exit from that I will exit from the the bash the root to to get back so if I click here sorry not click if I type here docker images it will be the same problem I don't have the permission and I, I need to run that with sudo clear that sudo docker images I don't have any images on this machine so now let's try to run an image which is me which means run a container so if I say sudo docker run and then the name of the image there is a very famous image for this machine called hello world and this machine as we can when we listed the images there is no local images with that so this is automatically will connect to docker hub and search for this image so let's see that can't find this image starting downloading so let's clear that so it, it downloads the image so if I sudo docker images now as we can see I have a low world image on my machine now this is not a container to have the container I need to run the image so if I type sudo docker run the name of the image this will run the image as a container and hello world from docker so I have that let's uninstall docker so we can see how this is a command to uninstall as we can see this is will remove yes so as we can see this will remove the docker and if I click sudo docker again command not found which means that it is uninstalled this is how I uninstall docker so let's install docker again this will install docker it's clear so if I say sudo docker images I have here my images so let's go for docker hub so if I say docker hub this is the docker hub let's go for explore so here we can see many images I'm looking for Nginx this is a web server and as we can see looking at this this image here in the docker uh, hub or docker repository registry on the cloud if I click here and pull that image yes because as we can see I just get pull without sudo so sudo then pull so as we can see this is downloading pulling the image from the, the registry the cloud registry clear that let's sudo and docker images so as we can see now we have two images on this machine hello world images and nginx which is a web server like and this is a new layer added 
and this is very, very important, Nginx is just the same machine, the same image, but just adding one layer with Nginx uh, or a couple of layers so we can see of course the information here but at the end what i want to emphasize that we have the base image and we have a couple of layers or one or more layers added to this image so we can have another image and this makes the things um you know moving that downloading that so when i only download i'm only downloading the delta between the base image i have on this machine and that image so let's run uh, that container uh, for Nginx. So if I say sudo run Nginx, sorry, I need to say Docker here, Docker. So now I'm running, uh, I'm on the container right now. And how I can see that, let me open another git bash. And I will show you that. So if we connect it to the second git bash, if I run ps, this was will list all the process running on this machine if i run ps3 this was list this will list all the process running with nested process so if i see here this is the docker container and container shim and nginx is running so i can see that and let's clear that sudo uh, docker ps this will tell me the container that is running on this machine now so as we can see we have only one container running which is nginx and it is the daemon uh, docker running that so we can see that so let's close that. So I can close that with with the ID. So if I say, for example, path. so I can stop this container. So if I say sudo docker stop, and then taking this ID. So this is stopped. To see that, let's clear and sudo docker and bs to see what is the container running and there is no container because i stopped the container so again if i if i click sudo docker run help this will give me all the the switches i can use with with docker for running that uh, let's clear that if i type uh sudo docker we can see here uh, some of the important command again you know uh, very very important uh, commit create a new image from a container changes so commit this is how we commit the new layers uh, once i commit it means that i adding a new layer and then i can push that uh, image to a registry on the cloud at the end i would like to thank you for watching the video please if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me on my blog muhammadradwan.com also, you, you can visit my blog with the link that will appear at the end of the video or uh, click on the related video, which usually is part of this series 
um, or uh, give you more information about the same topic. Thank you.